That's not roasting Jack Frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering Hi you guys, welcome back to the vlogs. My name is Madeline for those of you that are new. I feel like I haven't done a weekend in my life vlog in so long and so I thought I would start one for this weekend. Um, we we're about to go on a date night. We're gonna go to this place called Homewood. It's kind of a new restaurant off of Oakland in Dallas. Um, it's like, from what I've seen them with the pictures, it's kind of like contemporary home cooking. It looks really good. But we're about to run out the door, so I, just, I just wanted to kick off the vlog here right now. You can see my beautiful Christmas tree behind me. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Um, but yeah, um, we are going to dinner to celebrate my second week of work, but it was my first week going into the hospitals. Um, I'll tell you guys more about this later. So that's that. And I'm gonna take you guys along for the night. Let me show you guys my outfit because it's really cute, even though it's really, y'all know if you've been watching, the mirror over here is really hard to see my outfits when the lights are, when it's dark outside, even if I turn on the lights, but. Let me turn this on and see if that helps. Okay, so we're going all black tonight. So I have this, oh, you know what? Screw this, I'm going to my bathroom. Okay, so I have this really cool like vest on from Zara. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like I can wear it so many different ways. And then I have this long sleeve thermal on from Zara and you can't tell, but it has little shoulder pads, which is really cute. So I'll be able to wear this on its own too. And then I also have these um, like, paper bag trousers from Zara from last year that I paired with it just to be comfortable. It's chilly outside. And then I'm just wearing black booties. So all black. I'm really digging it. Just got home. I'm about to run a bath, bath tip in. One of my favorite things and favorite discoveries of 2020. I never really thought I liked baths that much, but especially when it's cold outside. Just wanted to do that. Um, I need to change my laundry. But yeah, so we went to dinner. That place was freaking amazing. I didn't even think, I mean, I knew it was going to be good because I, I had really good reviews, but just, I never thought I could have fish and green beans that tasted that good. So if you're ever in Dallas or if you live here, definitely go to Homewood. That place was so, so good. We made espresso martinis before we left and it was really easy. All I did was vodka like a shot each, a shot each of espresso, and then a little shot glass full of the just creamer I had, and then put ice in a shaker and then shook it and then just strained it into two glasses. And it was really good, it was kind of fun. It was like a different, it was a mix up of, you know, having a glass of wine before you go out to eat. Oh, hey babe, there's a spider in here. Will you get the spider out of the tub? <laughs> Before I get in the bath, I'm gonna show y'all the new makeup remover I've been using. So I'm transitioning it away from makeup wipes. I'm trying to be really good. And I found, I really like this one. It's called the Green Queen from Pharmacy. It looks like this, you get it at Sephora. And it's the Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. It's really, really good. Um, it's pretty soothing, honestly. The makeup wipes I, were, I was using were just kind of rough on my skin. And I didn't feel like I was tugging at it too much, so I kind of kept using them. But 
This is definitely a lot more soothing and better than dragging my skin. Um, so I really like it. I don't even, I don't even have to use a makeup or a, a washcloth or anything. I just melt it away and then eventually it's just all gone and it's really nice and I wash my face and then I get out and then um, you guys have to see my makeup, I mean my skincare routine, but I'll show you guys when I get out of the shower really quickly. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see you guys this and it's pretty reasonably priced too if I remember correctly. Okay, and then for my skincare, I'm pretty much going to do my most simple routine that I have. I find that the simpler it is, the better. So I'm going to be going in with my Summer Fridays Soft Reset AHA Exfoliating Solution. And I just take a little bit on a cotton round and everywhere. Oh, and then real quick, I'll conceal with um, the makeup remover and my face wash. There's like literally nothing left it is the best so to make it up in my hairline without we'll getting makeup stuck in there and then from there i'm just going to take my epidua forte retinol that i get from my dermatologist and i just take a pea size amount so be about the same for any retinol that you get even if it's from um the drugstore, Sephora, just like a pea size amount for your whole face is good. So you, so you don't want it to dry it out too much. And then last but not least, I guess kind of last, I have two more little things, but I'm gonna take my Summer Fridays jet lag mask. If you guys have been watching my videos, you already know, this is my ride or die for nighttime. It works as an eye cream and a moisturizer. So I just really, take it on it's the only thing that i have found i actually have been wanting to branch out a little bit more just to see what else is out there because i haven't in the last year or so but this is seriously the only thing that keeps my skin really moisturized in the cold months so when i go under my eyes you know with my eyelids when my eyelids get dry this is like a very clean beauty brand on my neck um I'll have it linked below because it's clean. You can use it while you're pregnant. Anything. Um, that's why the founders made it because they wanted something that everybody could use no matter what. So I'm gonna go in with my UK lash eyelash serum. My mom got it for me for Easter and it's still going strong, so I'll skip it for a few nights, but I definitely notice when I skip it. Um and I just apply it to where I'd put like eyeliner. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go with my Summer Fridays lip balm in the Shein flavor vanilla. Yeah, it says vanilla. And this is the best lip balm. It's so hydrating. I love it so much. And now I'm gonna put on my t-shirt and go to bed. I realized I hadn't shown you guys our new coffee machine. It's quite fancy. Um, but yeah, it makes coffee and then also espresso. And there's also a little milk frother right there, but it's really cool and it looks like that really really expensive one um but for a fraction of the price i'll link it down below a little toast to start off the morning i'm about to go to orange theory and i'm honestly not hungry yet but i know i need to eat something i'm tapping my stomach and so this has kind of been my go-to lately is peanut butter and jelly on sourdough i'm about to walk out the door to go to orange theory but i thought i'd do a little outfit of the day for orange theory i'm just wearing biker shorts my new brooks tennis shoes and my new york um yankees baseball cap that i always wear to orange theory because it's the only thing that keeps my bangs out of my face the people there are probably like wow she really loves that hat um and then i had this puffer on from target from last year i think i saw very similar ones there um, this year though too, so I'll link it. And then I have this cropped um, long sleeve sweatshirt and then just like a sports bra and an Aritzia tank top. So 
lots of layers today but i will talk to you guys after my workout You guys saw that I went to get a salad after my workout. It's this place called Unleavened. It's right by our apartment and their salads are very reasonably priced and really, really good. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just getting ready. We are gonna go to my best friend Jessica's house. She has a little backyard and we're all gonna hang out outside. Yeah, we're just gonna watch some football. Her boyfriend just got a smoker and so we are going to smoke some meats and just have a lovely saturday it's so pretty outside okay so right now this is my current second day hair routine this is my favorite dry shampoo it's the detox dry shampoo from dry bar and it makes my hair even though the only thing i don't like about it is that it does come out white um and that kind of sucks but if you really rub it in and it, it doesn't make my hair feel like I have dry shampoo in it it actually just makes it feel really really fresh and so I'll do this and then I'll also do it on like this layer right here I feel like this also gets kind of greasy and second day is more like preventative I feel like if you get ahead of it ahead of the curve with the dry shampoo it doesn't get as greasy the following days so I wanted to do kind of a chatty get ready with me and talk to you guys about life updates. I feel like I have a lot right now, but then I'm also just going to show you guys some of my favorite products. I've done my makeup routine a lot on this channel, so I don't think I'm going to do all of it, but I'm going to highlight some of my favorite products I've been using lately. So I get really dry under eyes. Um, I feel like my concealer always looks kind of like just dry and so i've been using this bobby brown vitamin enriched face base and i think they have a specific um eye one but this one really does the trick and it's small and i got it in the little like sample checkout line when you're at sephora and so i'll just put this on and i'll kind of do my eyelids too and I don't, I don't do my whole face i use something different for my face but this has been working really well for under my eyes to keep me hydrated so okay so for life updates we are moving out of this apartment which is so crazy because one of my first videos i made on my channel was um my empty apartment tour and my furnished apartment tour with this apartment and that feels like it was yesterday but it was actually a year and a half ago um and we are trying to find a house to rent so we decided not to buy this year we're gonna buy our next house so we'll probably do another 12 month lease on a house to rent hopefully and then when that 12 months is up buy something so and then for my face i'm going to be using the professional from benefit and it's the hydrate primer and i just got the mini one to try and i like it i don't know if i love it i think i'd want to try other ones but we found this really really cute house by white rock lake in dallas and it's just such a great location. It's still central to, you know, all the young social stuff, but has a little more of like an adult neighborhood feel to it. Um, and we found the most perfect house. We just put in an application for it. And I really hope we get approved for it. Um, Cause it would just be the perfect little spot for us. It's so cute. It's like very updated, very my style. Like, oh my gosh, you guys should see the backsplash in this kitchen. It's so perfect. I really hope we get it. Um, but if not, no worries. Definitely trust in the plan, but that's where we're at with that. And then I just put the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation on. This is my favorite foundation. I do want to try the NARS Creamy Radiant, um, but I just have not gotten to that yet. And this one's really nice and light and you can build it up really nice. So I'm just, I just like to pat it all over my face and then go in with this brush and this is the morphe m it's fading but i think it says 409 and i'll just kind of make sure it gets everywhere and then i'll go in with the beauty blender and like do the final blend and really make sure it melts into my skin i'm sorry i'm looking at a mirror right here so if i'm looking to the side that is why
and then now I'm gonna go in with my hourglass concealer. I don't think Aria Sedet's my shade is birch. And I'm just gonna go a hair right here. And that my nose. Right here. And then I just take this flat brush. I've had this forever. I don't even know where this is from, but you can kind of see it's like flat and it's like a very nice brush for distributing out concealer. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and go in with my beauty blender after I kind of like paint this in the spots I want it. Okay, now that's blended in nice. And then I'm gonna go in and contour. For contour, I have been using my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and it is so easy. So if you're like a beginner at contouring, I highly recommend this one. Um, but okay, other life updates. I started my new job. Um, a couple weeks ago. Okay, and I'm using the Real Techniques 200 brush to blend this out. Um, and it's been going so well. So I'm in, I won't say like what company or anything, um, just for privacy reasons, but I am in the neurovascular space for med device sales. And it is so, so cool. In my last job, I was pretty much going into offices and like building relationships. And that was and then like pushing our products and that was kind of the end of it but in this job i'm actually in the or which if, I, if you would have told me when i was 13 that i was going to be in brain surgery helping neurosurgeons um with products for their patients i would have been like no that's that would have never happened for me um but i am and so basically i am an associate territory manager and so i am under two other guys who are awesome and i'm going to be helping them like build their like build relationships with the doctors in my territory um educate them on our products and then eventually when i get promoted um i will be helping the doctors um know exactly how to use our products whenever they are operating so like we don't touch anything like they're sterile and we're not in the operating room but i'll be helping guide them on exactly how to use our products on their patients but it's wild like i was in my first procedure this week and just seeing a patient like you know under anesthesia and you're in there it's just it's very surreal um and i'm having to very much separate out like like i see that person and i think you know that's a mom a sister an aunt a daughter and i have to like put that out of my mind and just you know say a little prayer and know that i'm there for medical reasons um but yeah it was, it was kind of interesting so anyways enough rambling up those were just my thoughts and okay so i did my cheeks my forehead or like my cheekbones and then i'm gonna do my nose and my jawline and for my nose i take this like fluffy one that's smaller just so i can really like get in there And then I'm actually going to go in and bake before I do my bronzer. So, and I've been using this Huda Beauty um, translucent setting powder in the, in the shade, or not shade, or I guess, I guess shade, pound cake. And I've been liking it. I think I might like my Laura Mercier one a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to pick up, but this one is still really nice too. I'm just going to do my nose. I said my eyebrows and I just did like a basic brown smoky eye, um, but pretty like 
not too crazy and i'm gonna go in with my kat von d liquid eyeliner this eyeliner is so good um actually you know what i'm not gonna do this first i'm gonna do this second um i like to do that to intensify it but first i'm gonna go in with um this like tapered brush and i'm gonna take this really dark brown shade right here and do some do a i'm gonna do my eyeliner with this eyeshadow And I'm only gonna go to about right there. And then after I have that smoked out, I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner and just do it on. Oh, this is very difficult. Hold on, let me look in the mirror and just do it along the edge. Just like right in the end. And then lastly, on the bottom, I'm just gonna go in with this brush and pick up some of this light brown right here and just run that along my lower lash line. Okay, then let me wipe off my base. My big. And then now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. And I've been using this Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer for a while. It has such a big pan. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna run out of this. And I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush in 400 and kind of like squeeze it a little bit just so I can get it really where I want it up here. And then kind of fluff it out. Same thing. And then kind of blend it out. Okay, I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of blush on. I'm trying not to do too much blush. And then um, I just put a little mascara on and I'm gonna put, also I haven't really been into highlight lately. Anyone else? I don't know why, it's kind of like the like matte look in the winter. Um, but I'm gonna go in with these Ardell Wispies um yeah lash trios or no not wispies i'm sorry Ardell lash trios and i like to do so they have there's they come with short and medium and i like to do a short and a medium on each lash and so i'll just pull those off and um i'm gonna pop those on really quick okay i just popped those on you can tell those look really nice um and i'm just gonna put on a little bit of lipstick not much probably charlotte chilberry pillow talk and then i'm gonna get dressed and we really gotta go. Marketing is not called. It's a woman crying. If we think it's stupid, we can change it. Hi, Benjamin. Are you so perfect? Are you so perfect? Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas.